Alright, hey there Prox News, this is Prox right here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Fire Red Extreme Randomizer and Nuzlocke. And in the previous episode, guys, we basically went and headed on out of the Rock Tunnel, made it on over to Lavender Town, also went and battled out our rival Super Saiyan Blue Lucario once again over at the Pokemon Tower, we defeated him, and we also went and uh, tried to uh, head on over to the different routes to basically encounter uh, some new Pokemon, but unfortunately we don't really have new, uh, any new encounters so far. Uh, basically what I am going to do is head on over to Celadon City. Uh, I am going to uh, basically go and grab out our uh, boy Volt, uh, because he actually has the HM for cut, so we're going to come right back over here to this route, and uh, we should be able to uh, go and get ourselves our counter here, but before we go and do that, I'm just going to go and just do a team recap to get ourselves all started. Uh, so let's go and do it here. So uh, we got ourselves Drac, who's level 21 with the Eruption, Hydro Cannon, Milk Drink, and Poison Fang. Daisy at level 28 with Dizzy Punch, Mist Ball, Flame Wheel, and Future Sight. Charlotte at level 29 with Toxic War, Pulse Miracle, and Ancient Power. Quincy at level 30 with Icy Wind Slash, Shadow Ball, and Covet. Sean at level 28 with Horn Drill, Psychic Overheat, and Arrow Blast. And we also have Meta, who's at level 34 with Future Sight, Ice Punch, Blast Burn, and Ancient Power. And I think we're basically totally fine uh, for what we need to do for our next gym. Because, of course, our next gym is going to be Erica's gym, of course. And uh, I think we're basically set. I don't think there's really anything to really worry about uh, coming over to Erica's gym. I believe her uh, Pokemon are basically around the same exact level as we are. I think uh, her Victory Bell, in particular, I think it's like level 28. Eight, I think I'm pretty certain or, or somewhere around there so we should basically be uh pretty pretty much fine over here so yeah there also is a new route of course uh, over this way too so we actually have a lot of new different routes uh, coming our way so first of all uh, to get ourselves started off let's just go and head on over here and get healed up because I don't really feel like trying to take on any other trainers right now with the Pokemon that are like birds and fast asleep and oh man that would be good so, uh, also too, hopefully you guys are having yourself a good Monday over here, and, uh, yes guys, we did bring back Aria Sorrow, of course, which I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, oh, right, yeah, that totally reminds me. We need to go and, uh, basically, uh, put one of our Pokemon away, because we do have to go and grab ourselves our Gift Eevee, which I'm pretty excited to see what we're going to be getting here. I think the last time in Pokemon Leaf Green, I think we got ourselves a, uh, a Mew, I remember, from, from the box, so, that, or, or from the, uh, Gift Eevee, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so let's go and switch out around with Drac because we don't really need him for the time being I only need him just to get some extra EXP for when we go and actually battle out Erica And we should also just put another Pokemon away as well because we do need one for Our gift Eevee, so let's go just put away Charlotte for the time being uh, I think we're basically set for super potions. Uh, I don't really need to worry about anything too much. I know that we have like 14, uh, or sorry, 15 of the super potions that we have right now in our bag. So we're basically fine. Now, I think this is the room, right? Or is it the other one next door? I can't remember. I know it's like somewhere up top of this roof here. There should be a, uh, a Pokeball with our name on it. Yep, here it is. So we got ourselves an Eevee, but I'm pretty certain that this is going to be... Ooh, wow, okay. And that is going to be a randomized uh, Pokemon, which that is actually going to be Squirtle. So uh, since it is a male, we are going to name this Brian the World... Tr or, or sorry, uh, Brian the uh, Squirtle, actually. And uh, yeah, Brian was a big help in our... Uh, basically in our Platinum Livestream randomizer. And uh, he was uh, wrecking house with everything until he got destroyed at, at the Elite Four uh, halfway through which that kind of sucked. Uh, unfortunately, we did get ourselves our last of our deaths, and that was because of Brian. Uh, I can't remember what Pokemon destroyed us, but I think it was a Pokemon that had Shadow Ball or something. I can't remember, but I know it was a pretty crazy move that was a critical move, which that did some stuff. Um, I guess, since we actually do have Volt, uh, let's actually head on over this way, because we can actually go and get ourselves um, the HM for Fly. So before I go and do that, I'll just... Uh, Grab the Eastern for fly here. Wow, there's a lot of new routes. Okay, but I'm not going to really worry about heading over here to get ourselves a new route Pokemon encounter yet. I'm going to go and try and dodge past you guys because I'm not really worried about battling you. I'm more so about trying to get my HMO2 fly. Ah, uh, hello, can I get your HM for fly? Oh dear, you found my secret retreat. Please don't tell anyone I'm here, so I'll make it up to you with this. Nice, HMO2 fly. Oh, that is just awesome. Now we can just fly anywhere around in Kanto, which that is, which that is really great to use. 
But unfortunately, we can't really use fly right now at the moment because we don't have Erica's badge. So we have to wait for that for a little bit. So I'm going to dodge past you guys because I'm not going to really be in the fighting mood right now. Um, but this is a new route, right? So we do actually have a new route encounter to do and also uh, got ourselves a Snorlax uh, static Pokemon as well, uh, too. So that's pretty nice. So this is Odon City and this is Route 16. Okay, so yeah. Uh, why not? Let's just go and grab it ourselves uh, the new Pokemon encounter anyways here. Since we are, since we are here anyways. Okay, let's see what we're going to get. Gliger. Okay. Uh... I'm gonna probably run away from this battle just because like Gligar is somewhat okay in this game it's just that he's not really a glee score and plus you're gonna also yaw me to death so I'm gonna probably just run away because I'm not gonna be really worried about you oh great now we can't escape why can I not why can I not escape dude No, I literally can't escape. What the heck? Okay, well, that's not good at all. Well, I guess I'll just switch on out then. Okay, is this like the only move that you have, Gligar? Uh, I guess we'll just set up a shout ball. Oh, wow, great. And then you set up a reflect. Now this is going to even make it even... Less. Oh, okay. Never mind. It knocks it out. I'm happy. Okay, I, I, I thought that since that Reflect came up, I thought we are going to be screwed with that Shadow Ball there. Man, come on, dude. Well, anyways, that's fine. Um, I guess I'll head on back over to the Pokemon Center. And we'll go and make our way back over to the other previous route just before Lavender Town. Because that was also another encounter that we kind of missed on. And uh, we also do have another one over this way too, over at the, uh, around the building, around Celadon. But, uh, apparently, um, from what I was looking up with, uh, with the PS5, apparently there's two different, uh, forms of the PS5. There's the, uh, digital version and also the, um, the disc version. Now, uh, since we're on the topic about, uh, talking about PS5 and, and the reveal of everything was going on, I know that in the last episode I did talk to you guys about that, uh, what was your thoughts on the PS5 and, and, and wondering if you guys are going to be getting the PS5 or not. Uh, but also too, I got another comic question today is that um, since there is two different forms of the PS5, which one are you going to be getting? Are you going to be getting the digital, uh, uh, the digital console version, which that is pretty neat, but it's just going to be a little bit tricky because like I don't know how the digital console would be like. Uh, because this is like the actual first digital console ever to actually have something that is not disc related. But there is also the other form, which that's also the disc cop. Well, yeah, the disc console version of the PS5. So uh, let me know which one that you guys are going to be going for. I'm going to probably go for the disc, uh, the, the disc version for it because I think for me personally, I I, I, I just like having hard copy disc with me instead of digitally. So that's just my personal preference. But you guys can let me know in the comments. Huntail, now that's actually pretty interesting. I don't think I, I think I have used a Huntail before, but I'm not too entirely certain if I did. I don't know, could it have been Pokemon Leaf Green? It could have been. Shadow Ball, not gonna really touch us too much. I guess we'll just set up with a Ancient Power. I don't know if Ancient Power is gonna do that much. Ooh, okay, nice. We got ourselves the, uh, the boost of stats, so that's pretty nice. Hopefully, a Great Ball can work on this Huntail. I'm pretty sure it can. What nightmare? Uh, well, that's a weird move for that Huntail. I guess we'll just throw out a Great Ball. We're gonna see what we can do. Come on. One. No. It popped out. Uh, Shadow Ball. Maybe I could use one more ancient power, but I don't know if that's going to, like, kill it or not. Hopefully this doesn't knock it out. Just don't kill it. Oh, man, that boosted stat killed it. Well, 
There goes our encounter for the hunt, y'all. Man, meta is just too strong out here. Uh, well, we do have another route, which we can go and check once more. And we'll uh, head on back down to the previous route. Now, I know that one of these traders, uh, I don't know if it's uh, on this section of this tunnel area, or it's over at the uh, other part here, around the Lavender Town uh, section. But I know that you can get like a trade evolution or, 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 or a trade thing with somebody here. I think that's, I think that's on the other side. Okay, so we got a lot of battles coming. Just gonna try and dodge out most of you guys. There we go. Alright, got ourselves a cut tree. Let's go and cut this guy down, and we'll see what encounter that we're gonna be running on. Um, I guess we'll just switch out over to Sean. Because I think Sean has, has, has less powered moves. But, hope we can run into something good over here. Oh, Okami. Okay. Um. Well, I don't know. I don't know if a Psychic is going to do that much damage to you, though. I think what I'm just going to do is just toss out a Great Ball, because literally Volpix should be that too hard to get captured out right here. Nope. <laughs> Never mind. Frenzy Plant, what? Okay, well that didn't touch us. Hmm. Alright, so it looks like Great Balls don't really work because Wolpix is fully healed. Nope. Well, I think I'm going to switch out over to Daisy. We do have one normal typing move, so we're going to set up a Dizzy Punch. Hopefully get confused. Ooh. Go for that Hypnosis, man. Not cool. Please don't knock it out. Really? Man. You guys are too strong. <laughs> this is not good for our encounters. <laughs> Even though that our team is like pretty well stacked up right now at the moment. <laughs> I would still like to have some extra Pokemon along for, for some backup if any of our Pokemon go down though. I know that Volts is one of them, and I know that we have, like, another Pokemon too, I think, right? But let's go ahead and back on over to Celadon, and we'll go and take care of Erica's gym. Because there's really nothing else here for us to do anyways, so... We'll go and take care of that. So I think basically all we have is, like, just Volt as our backup one Pokemon. Well, also, too, yeah, same with Devin. Yeah, cannot forget about Devin. But we do have ourselves a Squirtle now, which that's pretty awesome. We have Brian. If anything bad has to happen, we'll go and uh, put Brian on the team. If, uh, hopefully cross our fingers that nothing crazy happens here in Erica's gym. Oh, right. Yeah, that reminds me. We need to have the cut. Because Erica's gym has to have the cut tree. Which that is really annoying. I don't know why cut trees have to be here, like, before Erica's gym. So, unfortunately, we have to go and switch uh, around with Drac, which that's fine, because we're gonna bring him back anyways after uh, after this whole Erica debacle. And then we'll bring back Drac, and uh, we'll use him inside the, uh, inside the casino, which we'll do in the next episode. Now I just need to try to figure out where the heck the cut tree is. I, I think it's, like, somewhere... I think we have to go down a little bit further. Whoa, okay, there, game. Don't have to go... Don't have to be all that glitchy there. Okay, so this is the tree to cut down, and I think there's, like, two of these. I think there's, like, one, and then I think an another tree. Yeah, there's the other one. I have to cut down this way. Man, I wish they really took out this tree, because then we didn't have to worry about cutting this tree down. It could just be open to us. But here is the gym. There's this creepy old dude trying to look at all the girls that are in here. Now, this gym is great. It's full of women. Okay, there you go. Uh, okay, there, crazy old guy. Well, it looks like we got some battles to do. So, um, I guess we'll just leave Sean in for the time being. 
All we have to do really is just keep on heading straight up and not really worry about the other rest of the trainers. Now some of these trainers are going to have probably around like two or three Pokemon, which I'm, I'm, I'm somewhat okay with. Alright, so Starmie. Um, I guess we'll set up a Psychic. Hopefully that can do something. Ooh, Shadow Punch. Nice, got that static ability going off. So that's going to be perfect. Oh yeah, and also two guys kind of screw up uh, with the release date of the uh, of the Pokemon Isle of Armor. It's actually coming out on the uh, 17th, uh, not on the 15th. Come on, Aeroblast, do something. Ooh, nice. Aeroblast did quite a bit and knocked out the Starmie. Oh, very close to another level up there. We also got Anorith coming out, which that shouldn't be too much of a problem. I think we fought this one before and I don't know if ice or uh, agent power worked I think ice punch may probably work so let's see is that gonna yeah so that's super effective and anorith is gone so see you later dude get ourselves up to level 35 not bad and uh, the sad thing is is that we're almost finished with uh, Arya Sorrow though. We only have like a few more other uh, destinations to go and then we're basically finished here. So let's go head up once more. Erica is almost there. Just only two more trainers left. Ooh, four Pokemon this time. Which that shouldn't be too bad. I know that we fought out a... Uh, my Lodic before, but I'm pretty certain that uh, Phoebus's typing is a little bit changed here because of the evolutions. Ooh, okay, so that did some bit of damage, but okay, so it's just Weather Ball, so it, so we're basically good. It's not it's not the Fire Weather Ball, which uh, that would be really crazy if it was, but I don't think this Phoebus has Sunny Day. Hopefully. go and Sean is now going to be up at level 29 good job Sean what else is coming up Cascoon all right well that should be that too much of a problem we I know that we see these guys before we'll see what Daisy can do so Cascoon is coming out I guess we'll set up a miss ball hopefully that can knock it out here entirely Nice, that is super effective, and see you later, Cascoon. Yeah, man, I don't think we even need to even worry about capturing any new Pokemon right now. Our team is just, like, just knocking out Pokemon just everywhere. Okay, we got ourselves a Mawile. Now, probably a Mist Ball should work again, but okay, it doesn't affect it. So you could be something else. Okay, not too much damage there. Hear about flame we off. How much is that going to do? That'll do some damage. Now I think frustration. Uh, okay, so frustration doesn't do too much. What about a dizzy punch? How much is that going to do? Not bad. Not bad damage. Okay, one more dizzy punch should do the trick here. Boom! My wall is down. Okay, Meowth. Uh, should we just stay on in? Why not? We'll just stay on in. We'll see what this Meowth is here. Is up a flame wheel or something? Ooh, that'll do some damage. Uh-oh. Oh, well, okay, there you go. Perfect, Meowth. <laughs> just go and knock yourself out. Since uh, you're basically the last Pokemon over here. Nice. Well, that was an easy win. We defeated Beauty Bridget. Okay, so we'll do one more fight that's in here, and then we should probably get healed up once more. But I think, well, since I already have like super posted, I don't really need to worry about heading back to the Pokemon Center. All right, here we go. The final battle here. I don't need to worry about the other trainers that are in in, in this place. What Pokemon are you gonna have? You're just gonna have a whole five Pokemon. Okay. A Kingler. Ooh. Now, have we fought these guys before? That's the question. Well, I'll just set up a horn drill, maybe. Come on. No, it doesn't work. It missed. 
Ice Punch? Well, that didn't do anything. Nice. Okay, and you got static there, Kingler. I am a little bit afraid about what this Kingler is going to have, though. It could probably have, uh, probably still have Guillotine, maybe. But so far, we've been doing pretty good so far. We haven't really seen any other Pokemon that had, like, any other type of, like, KO moves. All right, here comes out an Aero Blast. That should do some damage. Yes, it does. All right. It's not very effective, but it still knocks out the Kingler, which I'm happy. Okay, now here comes out the Crobat. Now, I'm just going to probably switch out into meta here. Now, I think since we had Drac, I think Drac's like pure poison or something, right? It's not, it's, it doesn't have like that, uh, that full uh, flying type. There we go. Ice Punch should do something. Nice. And there we go. Crobat is down. Okay. Two Pokemon down, and I think three more to go. We'll just still keep on being in here. We fought out a Mischievous before. It's also going to do some damage, and we also got Frozen too. Nice. Okay, so Mischievous and Frozen solid, so we're going to be set here. Uh, I guess we'll just throw out an Ancient Power or something. Oh no, a Super Potion. Oh. What? Yeah, that, I totally forgot about that. That the, that the cool trainers can go and heal themselves up. Just like the wrist trainers back in Generation 3. That's just so annoying. I, I, it's a good thing that they kind of changed that out a little bit. I'm not too certain that in Generation 7 or 8, I don't think there was any other type of trainers that ever did that before. Where they would just like heal up their Pokemon. Let me know in the comments down below, guys, that, uh, if you guys are watching it up here up to this point. W was there any, like, trainers, like, in Generation 7 or 8 that literally, like, healed up their Pokemon, like, during in battle? I don't think there was any other trainers that also did that before. I think it was just only in this generation. That's also super effective. Just to see a layer, layer Cleadle. Wow, well, we are just, like, knocking out Pokemon out here left and right, dude. Meta is just, like freaking just going ham out on everybody okay now I'm gonna just play it safe just so that I can at least get all my moves back and then we'll uh, then we'll basically uh, make our return back on over to Erica and we'll end off the episode from there so sorry that my video is a little bit glitchy here and there guys uh, it's just because of my uh, it's just because of my emulator that I'm using. I I, I don't really know if, if, if it even is my emulator or whatever. But, uh... It, it, I think everything's fine. Like, like I know that it's been a little bit glitchy here and there, but the game is still, uh, it's still perfectly okay. I know that in our Pokemon White Extreme Randomizer, I know that the Desume was having some pretty wicked issues with all the flickering and everything that was just going on it just wasn't all that too great but at least we got it done and i'm finished with that series but uh what i am really excited for is to bring uh is to bring back the pokemon sword uh let's play back which i'm pretty excited about i can't wait till we do isle of armor it's gonna be pretty awesome uh just letting you guys know that i will be bring, bringing back all the pokemon that were knocked out in the nuzlocke uh, to return uh back into into this let's play because since we already defeated the nuzlocke uh we're basically okay to continue onwards i didn't really like release out any other, uh, other yeah, yeah, I basically didn't really release out any of my Pokemon or anything like that, so I just basically just left them in the box. But the good thing about this, though, is that <laughs> I know that when I first played uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield uh, at the very beginning of launch day, I know that uh, there was no actual, like, Pokemon cards to, uh, to begin off with, so uh, <laughs> I had to basically go and uh, grab out, like, like, all the random, like, uh, like, gameplay uh, pictures of what the character or what what the what the Pokemon look like in the game. Uh, it's so nice now that we actually have cards now to finally for me to actually uh, put it onto the layouts. So I believe Erica does have three Pokemon. I think she actually has like a Gloom, Victory Bell, 
And, uh, I think it's just an artist or something, right? Alright, now, I believe we fought these guys before, so meta is perfect for these, uh, for these, uh, Illumis and Volbeats. So level 29, Illumis. Setting up a bulk up. Uh, that's a little bit scary. So hopefully, uh, Illumis doesn't have anything that's gonna be too crazy on her. Set up an Ice Punch. Come on, knock it out. Ooh, wow, that actually did quite a bit of damage. And we also got Frozen. Meta, you are amazing, dude. These free stats are just freaking amazing. Oh. I don't think I've ever had this type of luck in any of my other Nuzlocke's before, where I would just get, like, like the like the para-freeze, or... What, or not not paraphrase uh, like the freaking freezing stats or the or, or electric or, or, or uh, basically static up the Pokemon with para, uh, with paralysis crazy uh, no we got Espeon my favorite of the of the Eevee evolutions that's not gonna touch me at all really but that was a crit though too wow what the heck all right come on get this Eevee out of here Nice. Okay. That is two Pokemon down, and I believe there is only one more left to go. Charmeleon. Now, I believe we've also uh, seen what Charmander was, but uh, the evolution is going to be different, so the typing is going to be changed out here. Silverwind, what the heck? I don't think that's... Yeah, that's not going to really touch us. All right, here we go. I'll have this ice punch to get on out of here, Charmeleon. Wow, great job, Meta. No deaths, no nothing, and we're basically set to move on over to our next destination, which that is going to be heading on over to the casino for the next episode. Yay! We finally got the rainbow badge. Nice. And now Pokemon that are level 50 can finally obey us. And also too, uh, if I remember correctly, the Celadon City actually has some uh, some evolution stones, which that would be pretty nice. So if I ever do need a Pokemon that I do need an evolution stone, I could just go and uh, grab it from there over at the Celadon Market. But I guess I'm going to end off this episode here for today, guys. In the next one, we will be going and heading on over to the Game Casino next. So don't forget to leave a comment, like, and also subscribe to the channel if you're new. Also, guys, don't forget about the comment question of the day. It is going to be, is what game console are you going to be choosing for the PS5? Are you going to go for the digital console and just get all your games all digitally downloaded? Or are you guys going to be going and getting yourself the hard copy game console and just buying the disc like, like, like any other normal PlayStation game or PlayStation console uh, would be. Uh, let me know in the comments. So I'll see you guys then and peace.